Hey guys, welcome to Learn Our Logic. In this Splunk tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to mask sensitive data into Splunk so that some confidential or sensitive data which you don't want people to see could be hidden. So I'll be taking an example of account ID to mask this data. So guys, I'm having a particular data in which there is a field a double CT ID which is an account ID so I want this numerical number to be hidden in such a way that only last four digits are available the rest of them gets hidden everywhere in the Splunk so guys before we begin to uh, learn this trick I want you guys to please subscribe to our channel guys I post uh, amazing videos every week so please subscribe before we begin so guys before we begin I will be adding data normally as we add so that you can get an example of the use case which I am going to take. So I have a file of vendor log sales dot log file and I'll be adding it. So uh, it's a, a web based file so I'll be using a source type of access combined. You can use as per your requirement it doesn't matter but it's just an example so I'm going to show it. So here you can see the account ID is a numerical and we are going to do nothing for about it. I create an index. Um, let's name it uh, account ID or something. Oh, naming is really a tough task. Okay, I'll name it as vendor sales. Okay, uh, it doesn't matter. You can name anything. I get confused while naming things. So I'm going to go to review. And once reviewed properly, I upload the file and start searching. So guys, as I search, I can see that in my data, uh, in the events, I can see that uh, account ID is there and it is not hidden. Now, I want to hide this data so that not everyone can see the complete information. So guys, there are two ways of masking your data. The first one is search time masking. In this method, the data has been already indexed in your system and now at the search level I'm going to mask this account ID. So uh, let's make a use case of uh, you know just table account ID in which I'm going to see the list of all the account IDs according to time or the events. So uh, I can see a list of uh, account ID and now I want to mask this. The use case is I want, I want to hide uh, the 12 numbers from the beginning that actually uh, the use cases of you know I want to see only the last four and as the account ID is of 16 digits so 12 digits of the starting needs to be hidden so uh, for this before table I'm going to edit my query as in the search time we edit the query so I'll be using the command of rex field is equal to this is a syntax after this we write the field name account id mode is equal to said this is uh, this is specified you don't need to do anything about it this is specified uh, in the do splunk docs also you can see so in splunk i'm going to write a regex in which first i will be writing the thing which needs to be replaced now whatever i'm writing in after in this is needs to be replaced so after s i'm writing slash d 12 in curly braces this needs to be replaced now after again uh, a slash i'm writing something which will be replacing the previous data and then i give a flag now i uh, search it and let's see the magic of masking now the splunk has masked the data at the search time so this is the capability of a Splunk of hiding the data. As you can see, everything is uh, 4x because I have written 4x over there. And only the last four digits are available to us as the 12 digits have been hidden. Now, the, there is a catch in this, which is this search time indexing. So, so sorry, search time masking is not able to hide the uh, account ID from the events so the data in events remains untouched here comes the index time masking guys the second thing is index time masking 
In index time masking, at the time of indexing the data, we do certain changes so that at the level of indexing, the data gets marked. So this time, I'll be uploading data and at the point of setting the source type, I'll be making some changes. So let's see. Now, access combined is default for me, so I'll be going with the access combined only because it adds some important things to the data. So this is my account ID. You can see uh, it's of 16 digits and I want to hide the 12. So let's, we will be clicking to advanced. We'll pull down and go to new setting. Sorry. Yeah, new setting. In this, we'll be writing a new uh, setting, which is set CMD dash and you can write anything like ABC or uh, XYZ. I'll go with XYZ. You can write anything. Here I will be writing the regex for Splunk to understand what to replace. Now this is going to be replaced ACTT, ID account ID and the 12 after that 12 digits shall be replaced. And I put a slash again and after the slash I'll tell with what it will be updated. And then I give a flag. I apply this setting as you can see down there there's apply setting option and uh, now you can see the uh, account idea oh sorry it's it's been replaced by me uh, wrongly now I need to write account ID equal to also so guys if you don't understand the regex you can check my video on regex in which I have taught the basics of regex the link is in the card above you can see it in the screen so guys you can see now uh, it is working fine now I name this source type as a new uh, something new so I'll be going with the source type vendor sales masked uh, it seems something very good no description required it's optional everything is optional you can do now in this I'll be ser searching reporting app in which app it is to be set in now I do a next and as usual I'll be say, creating an index so guys if you don't understand the regex you can go and learn it they are very easy you can go to my another video uh, now the index has been created I guess yeah and also I'll be pasting the regex in the description below so you can practice by your own okay let's start searching and abracadabra it happens so now we can see the events is automatically hiding the Splunk is automatically hiding the uh, uh, the values of this particular account ID from everywhere in Splunk. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel and support me guys. Till then, see you next time.